All right, what's up guys? So this video is gonna be about a really cool adapter that I just bought for the Sony A6300. And um, I got Sony A6300 because I want to do some videos and uh, it comes with the kit lens, which I think is already a great lens. It's very sharp actually in the video, even in 4K. But I want some more versatility in terms of lens choice and uh, as you can see on the background, I have a whole bunch of Nikon cameras and lens I have um, just laying there. And uh, even though I have the D500, I still prefer the A6300 for the 4K video quality. So I want to be able to use my Nikon lens on the Sony. And that's why I got this little nifty adapter. It's KNF concept. Um, lens adapter for Nikon F lens to the Sony E mount, and uh, I got this used on Amazon, this uh, from Amazon Warehouse for like um, fifteen dollars, and hopefully it works, and uh, we're gonna find out very soon because um, let's do the unboxing first and see how it looks like. Okay, cool. And I'm not quite sure if it works with G lens with no aperture rings. I hope it does, um, but it does have a, I'm not quite sure what this is for, but I guess we'll find out soon. Okay, the ring's kind of nice, it's aluminum, and actually the entire thing is constructed of aluminum. Um, it looks to be well made. Let's put some lens on here and find out if it works or not. I guess we'll try the uh, standard Nikon 24-70 2.8G. This is a lens with no aperture rings because it's uh, electronic aperture. And uh, just gonna try to attach it and try to do it in front of the lens. Okay. So it goes in like that. Let's see if there's a marker. Yep, there's a marker over here. So I better align the markers and put it inside. Okay. Looks like it might. Yep. There's no click or anything. Okay. Oh, there's a click. So that's the uh, lens release. And uh, and the cool thing is it actually works with the G lens. Take a look. See the aperture ring. So it actually was able to com control the aperture ring manually. Um, that's really really nice I like that and that means I can use this with a G lens and it's confirmed so now let's put it on Sony and see what the magical is all about and see if this lens actually works so I guess first I'm gonna take my kit lens off so first time I'm taking the kit lens off and of course put this let's see let's see if I can zoom in a little bit of course find the aligning dot over here and rotate it until it clicks so now it's actually mounted wow nice it's like that um, and I'm pretty sure this is gonna be very front heavy because the Nikon lens itself is, is much heavier than the uh, A6300 and uh, just by wiggling around I, th I think it should be able to hold yeah I hope so I certainly hope so um, turn on the camera and see what's going on Of course, you're gonna be losing all the um, all the focus, autofocus ability. But the very nifty thing is, the focus peaking at this moment is working beautifully. So if you can see, there is red dot. That's uh, focus peaking for uh, video recording, and uh, of course, it also works really nice for the. Let me try to get closer. It also works very nice for the. Um, manual focus lens as well and that is just great it's able to find the contrasty point and red line it 
And let's see. So right, right now I'm actually at aperture priority. And the cool thing is, let's see if it's able to auto expose in the aperture priority mode. The ISO, the ISO is actually set at automatic. So as you can see, if I press it, right now it's uh, at f2.8. And um, of course at 24 millimeter. And I think uh, it's APS-C sensor. So you times 1.5, around 1.5, and I think. And now it's at 70 millimeter. Let's try to um, focus on my cat and see if it's easy to focus or not. It's able to find edges quickly, but of course my cat is moving around very quickly, so that's kind of tough. All right, yeah. The focus is very easy with the uh, focus speaking feature. As you can see, like I'm able to quickly locate the focal point, and even though if I need to zoom in, there's some um, uh, focus uh, breathing, and I think it's because of the adapter because it doesn't happen on the... Um, on the Nikon cameras when you actually use it in automatic mode. So you're able to quickly find focus. Let's see. Sorry, it's all pictures of cats. So let's take a picture. Plato. Let's see. All right. I guess we have to manually set the release button without the lens because it detected it's a unsupported lens or it thinks there's no lens around. So I'm gonna go actually go into settings and enable release without the lens. The only complaint I have with this camera is the manual system is totally screwed up. There's no logic in um, the placement of items in here. So after I got it a couple days ago, I was trying really hard to find specific setting and here we go. Let's also enable this just in case. So okay, so now it fully supports manual lens and let's do a quick focus and press the shutter and voila, very nice. And it's extremely sharp as well and this is uh, at wide open f2.8. Let's zoom in and check check out Yeah, it's very zoomed in. It's very, very sharp, that I can assure you. And of course, let's see, try to take another one, maybe the fruits. We'll try a different lens and see how, how it works. A, uh, we'll try a telephoto, like really zoomed in. So that, I'm focusing on the, uh, the, the banana in the front. So let's zoom in and take a look. Yeah, quite good. Focusing is quite good. And the advantage with this is it's great for movie making. Um, and you don't have to invest a lot of money on Sony lens if you don't already have one. If you already have Nikon or Canon lens laying around, it's the best because Basically, you get a $10 adapter and it works wonderfully. Okay, so there's a little bit of the um, focus breathing, uh, which is like if you focus on the uh, zoomed out and you zoom back, it, it doesn't actually focus on the same spot. It focuses a little bit differently. But that is because of the lens adapter. It's not because of the lens, okay? So uh, in the aperture priority to manually set the aperture, you just simply rotate the aperture ring in here and you can see the screen is actually um, adjusting for the brightness because the aperture was changed physically um, in the lens on the spot on the fly okay so that's very nice let's try a wide angle a Nikon wide angle lens and see what's going on so of course now I don't have to take it off from my Sony camera basically I just take it off from the front Sorry, uh, let's zoom out. Yeah, so basically I just take it out from the front, which is really, really convenient. And I love that. And now I can just put a 
different Nikon lenses on here. Let's try the Nikon's ultra wide angle, the 14 to 24 millimeter 2.8, and see how it works. Hopefully the 14 millimeter is wide enough for some landscape work. Okay, align the dots and just rotate and click. And it's, it's actually successfully installed. So let's try some wide angle shots on Plato. Yeah, this, this is actually much wider. Um, at 14 millimeter, At 14 millimeter, the focusing is going to be easier because there's not much difference on um, the exact spot that you focused on. So I just took a photo. Let's zoom in and check it out. Oops, some preview button. So that's at 14 millimeter, and uh, let's zoom in and find yeah, it's focused right on the around the um, eyebrow and head area and of course this is also at f2.8 so the subject on the back is blurred quite a bit even if it's a wide angle lens you know that's not bad and I think this is definitely uh, workable with the adapter definitely enables me to use my Nikon lens for uh, video shoots and that's definitely a huge plus. Um, the only downside is the camera will always be front heavy um, but let's try the 72 I mean I have an older 80 to 200 millimeter AFS lens and that one actually have its own f-stop ring so let's let's find out how that one works because this, this adapter was originally actually designed for the F lens, not the G lens. But uh, it's comforting to know that it actually works extremely well with a G lens. And I'm really loving this focus peaking feature. It's not on the Nikon, which I think is a huge down disappointment. And this should be on every camera, every professional camera. And it's, it's, really, it's really in focus. I'm surprised. And I'm not even trying hard to focus. I basically just see the red dots and press the shutter. And that's the amazing part. Um, okay, so this lens works well. It's a wide angle, but uh, actually when you put this on the Sony, it becomes a normal angle lens. But it still works wonderfully. If sometimes you need something that's just a little bit wider than um, the 16 millimeter that came with Sony. And I love this lens also. It's just, I wish the aperture could be a little larger. Okay, let's take this lens off and try the biggest and heaviest lens on this camera and see how it goes. Turn off the camera and simply press the button and rotate and the thing comes off very nicely. Okay. And I'm gonna take my lens from the D500 and put it on the Sony. All right, and this one, because it actually have a tripod adapter, we're gonna be using this because it's gonna be much more balanced than putting this on, on the video tripod. Okay. Gonna take it off. By the way, this is a, uh, a decent video head for entry level videography. And it's a Manfrotto 500AH. Uh, let's actually just put the lens on right now, show you guys. Okay. So align the dots, very easy. And just rotate and click. I love it. And I think that's the best $15 investment um, you can do for your Sony camera if you have a Nikon or Canon set up. Okay, it's already um, it's already attached to the lens. Now we just need to attach the tripod base plate onto the the lens tripod mount. Okay, 
and this should be easy. Okay. Now it's very nicely. Um, oh, sorry, forgot to lock it. And the good thing is that it have a safety catch. I need to um, balance this a little bit so it doesn't move around. That's about good. All right. So everything's locked and it's nicely balanced. So that's that's great. And this this telephoto actually becomes a super telephoto. So uh, if you use 200 millimeter times around 1.5, I think this becomes a um, 300 millimeter lens at the maximum zoomed range, which is really nice. Okay, so let's test. But you can see it, it actually fits perfectly. The aperture ring still works. Um, but for the Nikon, the the older AFS style would actually have an aperture ring. So I'm wondering how this one works, but we'll find out soon. Okay, let's turn on the camera. And I think this ring actually doesn't even affect yeah, for the F, for the F style, <clears throat> if it's AFS with an aperture ring, this adapter still works by manually turning the ring. If you can see the um, the back screen, it actually let's try to get rid of the flare. It actually tries to ad adjust for the um, for the aperture change automatically through the lens. Okay, that's really really nice. So okay, let's try zoomed in at okay. Let's Move my thing a little bit and just zoom in on the screen. On some subject that's a little bit further away, and I'm gonna try to zoom in and focus. Okay, yeah, but it still focuses very quickly. So now it's um, it's actually it's actually focused on the front of the ball. Uh, just take a look at the uh, at the focus. Yeah, it's very sharp. It's very in focus. So it doesn't. In reality, this focus peaking actually works a lot much better than actually looking through the viewfinder because you're able to quickly distinguish your focusing plane and just focus and press the shutter. And that's 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 a great part about using uh, a a manual lens. The focusing is very smooth and very easy. I don't even have to think. I basically just rotate quickly and find the red dot and just press the shutter. And for movie recording, of course, um, you just need to find the red dot and keep the red dot in an area that you actually want to focus. Okay. So try something a little bit further. Let's see what do we have there. So there are some there are some flower plants that my wife planned over there um, and of course there's a lamp let's see if it's able to focus on the lamp yeah much much quick very quickly um, of course this lens doesn't have the um, image stabilization but since it's on a video tripod for the most part it's very stable Okay, so we just we were just focused on the uh, the lamp. Now, if I um, zoom in, check it's it's a very in focus. Okay, and that's great. So it's good to know that with aperture wide open on Nikon lens, this this adapter works wonderfully. And uh, it's also good to know that all the lens works wonderfully. And um, I'm really happy with this purchase. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. And uh, hopefully I'll have some more samples using the adapter and the lens for you guys to upload it on the YouTube. And thank you so much guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, again, um, ask me in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer. And uh, take care now.